How to choose a new employee. Welcome to the BizWiz Academy, where we make learning business fun and easy. Today's lesson is inspired by one of my very favorite business books, Managing by Harold S. Janine. Unfortunately, Harold Janine is a little forgotten today, even though he was one of the greatest managers of all time. Harold Janine was the CEO of the ITT company. In 1961, it was a mid-sized telecommunications company with around $760 million in sales. By 1970, ITT had 17 billion in sales and 200 profit centers. This book is filled with true gems of management insight and actually was the book that made me understand how a big organization really works. Because when I looked at big organizations from my point of view, I thought like, I don't understand how IBM works or another huge conglomerate. And I always thought, well, other and different rules apply to big businesses as they do to small businesses. Wrong. The exact same rules apply to big companies as they do to small companies. And I learned this from Harold Janine's book, who really, he was the head of the biggest conglomerate of his time. Management must manage. That's the simple truth, which means it must manage to get something done on time by an acceptable standard. This is the job of management, to get something done, to manage it. And of course, the basic building block of any organization is the performance of their teams. And as Harold Janine said, Performance stands out like a ton of diamonds. Said with another one of his quotes, it's an immutable law in business that words are words, promises are promises, explanations are explanations, but only performance is reality. And this is exactly how I choose my employees. I always look out for performance. It's the only reality I care about. This means I never read CVs, I never read motivational letters, I don't care about photos, I don't care about any of that. I create a little test and then I ask them to perform a task and I will only judge the performance on that task. It is the most meritocratic thing you could do. I don't care about your age, I don't care about your gender, I don't care about your haircut, I don't care about your school, I don't care about your grades, I don't care about any of that. I just care about your performance. And if you perform, you will get the job. If you don't perform, you will never ever get it. It sounds so simple, but why do so many companies not do it? Because in big companies, the HR department is very far removed from the actual department that does the work. And so they cannot devise true and clever tests to actually scan for the performance of the people. They just have to look at numbers that are completely meaningless. Who cares about grades? Who cares about CVs? Who cares about pictures? Actually, if you care about those things, you deserve to have problems. Let's end this lesson with the words of Harold Janine himself, who wrote a memo on the cover of his book, which is truly worth listening to. It is to you, the reader, by Harold Janine, and the subject is managing. Now listen to it closely, it's beautiful. The key essential element in all good business management is emotional attitude. The rest is mechanics. As I use the term, management is not a collection of boxes with names and titles on the organizational chart. Management is a living Force, how beautiful, it is a living force. It is the force that gets things done to acceptable standards, high standards, if you will. Management must have a purpose, a dedication, and that dedication must be on emotional commitment. Heavy words. It must be built in as a vital part of the personality of anyone who truly is a manager. He or she is the one who understands that management must manage. And look, here it stands. The most important business book of the decade. So it must be true then. If you like this lesson, head over to bizwiz.academy and sign up for one of our five-day, five-minute email courses where we go much more in-depth in the different topics of business and management and marketing. And of course, subscribe to this channel to never again miss your daily dose of marketing and business wisdom.